Hello and welcome to the 16th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the repeat forever action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to, manip to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and many items that you will use and come across. We will look at repeating actions using the repeat forever method, which just constantly repeats the desired action. So let's just go ahead and open up our app.js. And the first thing we're going to do is create a sprite action. So var sprite underscore action equals cc dot repeat. But it's not just repeat. The method is actually called repeat forever dot create. And then in here we do cc dot move by dot create. And obviously we're going to put the duration of this move by method, I'm going to put 0 0.5 and let's say it's going to move by cc.p and the amount that it's going to move put something small like 5 by 10 because uh, obviously it's going to be constantly moving so you won't stop the next thing to do is run the action for sprite.run action sprite action, put a semicolon there Minimize this, open up the terminal, chain directory to our Cocos folder or our project folder, I should say, then run the run command. Should run in our web browser. As you can see, it is moving. It's moving quite slow, but it's going to constantly move because even though we put move by 5 pixels in the right and 10 pixels in the left. It's clearly already done that, but it's just going to constantly keep moving and moving and moving. So this is cool if you want, uh, so it's obviously something to always keep moving. So maybe this is some, if you have an enemy and it's just going to move right, or and once it goes off the screen it's going to get destroyed, or if it's like a bullet, for example, that the trajectory is always going to be the same, nothing's going to really affect it unless it collides with something, or it's gone beyond some certain bounds that you've set. Nothing to not you can't reuse actions for different nodes. You even need to create a new one or release the old and construct it again. Recommended you just create a new action for the different nodes. Also, uh, as we've done is cc.move by we put the actual action in line here. What you could do is actually create it as a separate variable, then just place that variable name here. Uh, you can also put obviously like a repeat within this repeat forever, you can just combine the different actions. No task for you to do. Use the repeat actions, repeat some previous actions and see the difference between the to and by actions, such as move to and move by. The next tutorial will cover scaling using the scale to method, which scales the node relative to its original side. Size, not side, size. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.